Meghan Markle suffers miscarriage, Duchess opens up on unbearable grief with Harry. Meghan Markle has opened up about suffering a heartbreak in miscarriage earlier this year. Meghan spoke about her personal tragedy in a deeply moving article she penned for The New York Times. The Duchess of Sussex said the miscarriage occurred during an ordinary morning in July, while she was changing her son Archie's nappy. She wrote, After changing his diaper, I felt a sharp cramp. I dropped to the floor with him in my arms, humming a lullaby to keep us both calm, the cheerful tune a stark contrast to my sense that something was not right. I knew, as I clutched my firstborn child, that I was losing my second. The Duchess of Sussex went on recalling the pain she and Prince Harry experienced in the immediate aftermath of the miscarriage. I felt the clamminess of his palm and kissed his knuckles, wet from both our tears. Staring at the cold white walls, my eyes glazed over. I tried to imagine how we'd heal. Meghan, who has described the loss of a child as an almost unbelievable grief, realized during her traumatic experience miscarriages are far from being uncommon. She wrote, Losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief, experienced by many but talked about by few. In the pain of our loss, my husband and I discovered that in a room of 100 women, 10 to 20 of them will have suffered from miscarriage. Yet despite the staggering commonality of this pain, the conversation remains taboo, riddled with, unwarranted, shame, and perpetuating a cycle of solitary mourning. Some have bravely shared their stories, they have opened the door, knowing that when one person speaks truth, it gives license for all of us to do the same. Sharing this traumatic experience, she added, can be helpful to begin the healing process. She continued, We have learned that when people ask how any of us are doing, and when they really listen to the answer, with an open heart and mind, the load of grief often becomes lighter, for all of us. In being invited to share our pain, together we take the first steps toward healing. The Duchess also touched upon 2020 as a difficult year for the whole world, filled with unexpected events, such as the coronavirus pandemic or the death of George Floyd, which have sparked long-lasting consequences including national lockdowns and Black Lives Matter protests around the world. In her article, Meghan also recalled her interview with Tom Bradby during the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's tour to Africa in September last year during which the journalist asked her if she was okay. The Duchess believes checking on to one another may be the key to be able to heal after a difficult year and get together despite the limits imposed by the coronavirus pandemic. She said, So this Thanksgiving, as we plan for a holiday unlike any before, many of us separated from our loved ones, alone, sick, scared, divided and perhaps struggling to find something, anything to be grateful for, let us commit to asking others, are you okay? As much as we may disagree, as physically distanced as we may be, the truth is that we are more connected than never because of all we have individually and collectively endured this year. Meghan has been hailed by many social media users for having the courage to speak about such a deeply personal tragedy. One Twitter user with the nickname Bookworm3 said, what a powerful article. Heartbreaking but still so hopeful and helpful to all who have suffered, suffering a similar experience. I feel desperately sad for what Meghan and Harry have experienced, but I know that it would have made them even stronger as a couple and family. Another social media user, Condi also said, Meghan sharing this deeply personal story is one that resonates with so many women. There's a particular pain in losing a pregnancy while caring for other children. Reading this is cathartic. And a third Twitter user said, Those words by Meghan did really touch me. All my love to Meghan and Harry, sad they have to share this painful information with us. I hope this will help others.